Good morning, this is day five. When my children were small and we took them to Disneyland in Florida, when we told them that we were going there, their faces lit up and their eyes got big and they squealed with delight, with excitement. Trying to get them to go to sleep that night was almost impossible. The thoughts that ran through their heads and who they wanted to see, Goofy, Donald Duck, Daisy, Minnie Mouse, Mickey, the princess, and on and on it went until finally they were fast asleep. But early the next morning, guess who was up bright and early and eager to go? Right? The kids were saying, come on, Mom and Dad, let's go, let's go. As soon as we got into the car, backed out of the driveway and down to the corner of the street, what did I hear from the kids that were sitting in the back seat? Are we there yet? Several times during the drive, we heard it over and over and over and again. And in order to stop them saying that, I told them that it would, be, would take about another day. We have to sleep overnight before we get there. We'll have to stop and have something to eat. But in the meantime, try to see how many license plates you can see from another province or another state in the U.S. as we travel along. I'm sure, as parents, you can relate that happening in your life with your kids when you told them we are going to a certain place or to see grandma or grandpa. In, in, Ecclesi in Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8, we find God has predetermined the end events of our life. It says to everything there is a season, a time to be born, a purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a harm to die, a time to plant and a time to pick, a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break and a time to mend, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to cast away and a time to keep, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to keep, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. But in the 11th verse, we find these words. He has made everything beautiful in his time. We're living in the days of uncertainty with COVID-19 pandemic. The world has changed, we have changed, our living has changed, and who knows when it will get back to what it was before, or maybe never as we knew it. God has promised though to be with us through any situation in life. He has given us a manual to which we are able to look and find peace and assurances of his love for you and for me. And I just want to remind you that that manual is God's word. There are many, many promises that he has put there for you, for your benefit, for your assurance that he is in control. He is, has so many blessings in store for you and for me. The chorus that come to my mind says this, every promise in the book is mine, every chapter, every verse, every line, all the blessing of his love divine, every promise in the book is mine. As we start to go about our daily living today, he assures, be assured that God is there with us in every situation. And concerning this pandemic, he is in control. He will give the vaccine to the right person at the right time. But as far as we are concerned, if we are in the hollow of his hand, as we start this day, we can go about singing praises to him in our heart and have this little chorus on your mind. In his time. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time. In your time, in your time, you make all things beautiful in your time. Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time. Remember, God loves you, cares all about you and your needs.
Just reach out to him and say, Father, in thee, in you, do I put my trust for this day. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for another day where we can enjoy life to the fullness. We have an awesome God who loves us and cares all about us and all about our concerns. I pray that as we venture out this day, we know that you are right there beside us walking with each step of the way that we take. No matter what happens, we are in your hands. Bless us each one, keep us safe from harm, and may we give you all the honor and all the glory. Amen.